What's up guys and gals, k one SPL here and you're tuned in to K1's K-Pop Sessions. Today we're gonna come back to one Wee because every time we've checked them out in the past, we've liked what we heard from them. So we're gonna check them out today. Well, with a new comeback, I don't even know what it's called, but um... Uh, but yeah, I gotta apologize that um, those previous uh, reactions that I did on when we are on uh, hiatus for now until May because I had two strikes uh, for some stupid videos that <laughs> I posted up and um, yeah, we're just waiting it out until those strikes go away and then I'm gonna repost all my previous stuff that I I like took down. As soon as I got those strikes, I was like, I, I took them off. The first time, I mean, if you didn't watch the video, the first time I put everything that I thought might have been struck on, um, what was it? I didn't uh, put them on private. I put them on um, unlisted. And then for some reason, they, I got a second strike because it found the unlisted videos. I was like, what? They're unlisted. How did they find them? But uh, anyways, everything's on private. And um, I safely just reacted to like music videos lately and, um, and uh, dance practices too. Uh, so we're staying away from like stage performance stuff and like V Live things too because V Live was the one that struck me and I was like, oh, well, I thought V Live stuff was allowed and I had the the wrong impression. And, uh, but anyways, let's get into let's get into one week today. So one of the members, the um, the keyboardist, he's a he's a twin brother of. Uh, a member from One One Us, if you know One Us. Uh, who is the Who is the twin brother? I forgot. I have their K profiles here because I was like I forgot everyone's names. <laughs> Dungmyeon is a twin brother of Let's see, Shion of uh, One Us, and I think they're both under the the same company too, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it. RBW RBW Entertainment is also the label for uh, Mamamoo. So in their new song, they are featuring Hwasa as well. So today's song is called Q. Uh, Malu, Malu, Ket? Is it Ket? How do you do double S at the bottom? Moru Ketako. And short for Q. Okay, anyways, let's jump right into it. Uh... RBW Entertainment one, uh, one we almost said one us, <laughs> one we with um, their new song Q, featuring Hwasa. <laughs> Beat up. Oh, it shows their names: Harin, Youngun, Hwangyun, Dongmyung. So I didn't have to recap. I got the recap in the music video. Wait, what are we getting? We're getting some, uh... We're getting some trap today, but from when we... Does Hadden have an electronic drum kit? Some mad rapping right off the bat from, uh, Yongun. Wow, I'm surprised they changed the uh, the genre up. Oh, nice part. There's Wasa. She had a little. She had a little intro, <laughs> stepping into the uh, the music video. I just saw her high heels coming. Very fast paced song. That rhythm has been uh, carrying the song all throughout. Like right, right from the get go. Wow, 
Ooh, I'm getting like um For some reason I got like a little bit of a Emplo vibes. Like when Emplo had Lisa back in like the, like the nineties, like early early Emplo style. Hey, what's up with the the did she beat them all up? Hey, Hwasa? Spicy. I gotta be featured in their music video and beat them all up. <laughs> nice. Oh, Kanye with his solo. Oh, solely soulful. Dang. I like the guitar. I like that guitar solo. Here comes Dong Miao with his keyboard guitar. Oh no! Forgot to take these out. Indicator that the song is coming to a close. Dope song. It very surprising. A uh, change in um, change in uh, change in genre. Is this the this is the performance, right? Or is this the uh, is this repeating? Let's watch the performance version because I saw that there's a performance version. So we're gonna check it out again. We want to check it out again. It's not the music video isn't really uh, uh I mean it is a music video and at the same time there's uh, it's just them playing. Uh, let's do like the performance version this time. And uh, yeah, let's turn it up first. <laughs> Moving towards. Okay. Is it any different? I wonder. I wonder if it's different. Yeah, so he's got like a. He has like a drum kit. Then Kia taking it. Oh, that was Kia at the beginning, wrapping it off? I oh, thought it was Jongun. Kia not starting it off. Now you got the leader. Dongmyeon. Oh. Dang. I like the background percussions. Oh, she just like, she just came out of nowhere. Teleported in. Cool little duet here. Hwasa and Yongun. I like Kia's hair though. Especially with the headband. Hey. And then she disappears in the back. Oh, she's just hanging out there. Just hanging out in the back. Oh, she came back out. <laughs> what was that hard stare with Dongmyeon? It's Kongyeon.
Hey. Yeah, the guitar the guitar solo and then like uh you can hear Kia's bass guitar in the background too. Combination. Sounding smooth. Ooh! Killing it with the vocal kills, young one. That's a good song. Very surprising. <laughs> changing uh changing genre. So the last song that they had was uh what was it called again? Um Regulus. That was like kind of like a sad song. And then before that it was like super chill. I forgot I, I don't remember the uh the song titles, but they had some like chill songs like re reminisce about all. Uh what was the one in between Regulus and that song? That was one of my favorite songs. The brr, brr. <laughs> Anyways, that was a cool recommends from our our good friend Yodi. I saw it in the um I saw it the other day and I was like, ooh, I better not watch this. I better do something with this. So today's the reaction for. Anyways, guys, um, that's it for this session. Uh, this session is now over. Keep up with the sessions. Um, I'm doing a series on both Vix and Oh My Girl choreography, and I'll be filming that in just a bit. <laughs> and uh, um, depending on what time it is, yeah, we'll be getting to that. So keep up with those series if you do desire. Um, I do check out like music videos and stuff. Um, not really re reactions. You'll get my reaction out of it, but it's more like an impression of like what I thought about the song. And uh, if there's like emotions that come out of it too, um, I try to express that in the um, impressions. But uh, but yeah, it seems like my, one of my main things is to uh, to do. Oh, we'll bring this back. One of the main things is to do like choreo analyses. So you guys tend to like those. So we'll continue that as we have always have. And uh, yeah, check us out next session. Peace out. <laughs>